hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in this video like i'm going to discuss which all uh, topics you need to cover and in what order you need to cover them to learn selenium for java like java for selenium and uh, because i get a lot of queries regarding i want to learn uh, selenium how to do it all our topics are required so i have made this uh, syllabus in such a way that this is the basic minimum and if you can cover all these topics and can relate between them so i think it will be very easy for you to learn selenium so i'll try to like uh, cover each and every topic and uh, describe like what all you need to do in that so firstly like uh, when you start with this when you made up your mind that okay i want to learn java so just don't directly uh, jump into it just go through it uh, like a basic introduction and uh, what are interpreter okay like uh, javac how is going to compile the compiler so write down a simple hello world program and just uh, see like what are the files are gen getting generated behind the scenes and uh, how the computer run that code that is in th that is machine code so like uh, just go through all this so you will understand like uh, what are the basic uh, functionality of java and uh, what is happening behind the scene now this uh, jdk jre jvm is very important and uh, i remember like i was asked in an interview the difference between all three and i was not able to explain it just because like uh, i have covered my framework part and uh, everything but i was not prepared for this so just uh, like don't leave this part you should uh, have a basic understanding regarding what are this like jdk is for development and uh, you need J, uh, jre for the running that class files and the jvm will execute to your machine code in your local machine so all this like uh, just uh, go through it and you should uh, be able to differentiate between all this easily now the various uh, data types and uh, like boolean string and everything regarding that so data types are important because uh, see uh, when you are writing your code so you are interacting with uh, like various data types what all uh, like if you if you have a phone number so this is very much important so just go through it then this is uh, this is like if you are learning any any language not just java so you should be like uh, good with how you are going to iterate the functions type of functions type of loop uh, when are we going to use while loop when are we going to use do while loop so you can do like uh, any function with any loop but the thing is that you should be a, in a position to tell that okay like if you are using a for loop why are you using a for loop and not a while loop okay so if else statements and uh, switch statement so these are uh, like uh, pretty much important and uh, not that much uh, you have to go through just write a simple uh, like one one program on each of them and uh, just try to differentiate like uh, what all they needed and why are they needed okay uh, same regarding functions because see if the functions uh, part is not clear then uh, like uh, this polymorphism abstraction you are not going to relate to uh, them right so again like uh, go through it uh, this array part will also be covered in your collection framework so not exactly like uh, it is a part of this but uh, you should be well versed with string and arrays why because while writing the script for selenium um, like every time every third time you are going to encounter with a string okay uh, you have to get this string like make changes on it play with it so that's why like these strings and array are like the bare minimum so i am writing it down bare minimum okay after that like uh, you can uh, go to string buffer 
why why is it important again array list will be like in this so that's why i haven't wrote it here now coming to the oops concept like as you have all heard like this is the four pillars of oops and this is something which should be on your tips and uh, giving the right answers of it is not going to land up uh, in your job but if you like uh, if you are not able to explain polymorphism then i'm sure like uh, the interviewer is going to reject you for sure so just uh, go through each and every one of them and after that uh, like there are certain topics like constructors and uh, similar topics that is uh, like uh, important but this is bare minimum that uh, you should be in a position to like understand what are like what is inheritance what is polymorphism abstraction encapsulation like uh, what are abstract classes and everything so after this uh, we come to collection framework and uh, again why this is important is because you are going to encounter with the different kind of data and uh, you should be in a position so this framework makes our life easier because uh, if you have a list you can obviously like uh, use a list but there are certain methods which are already like uh, written inside uh, this collection framework let's say one of the most important method is hash map so hash table and everything so there are certain methods which are available inside hash map which uh, like if you know like the key value pairs and everything so it will make your life easier and uh, uh, at the end while making the framework so you are not making the framework for yourself so uh, like you are working in a team so every member uh, should be able to understand your code right so that's why like uh, there are certain like few things which should uh, be like you should be well versed with them and collection framework is one of them okay so after you are done with this part now after that like you should not directly jump to the framework making and understand like how selenium works again this basic introduction uh, so you should be in a position to understand the architecture of uh, selenium so by architecture i mean what are the classes and interfaces okay what is web driver interface what is the parent class of web driver interface and uh, how chrome driver and web driver are interrelated so if you understand the architecture of uh, selenium these questions uh, will automatically like um, answered for you so that's why like uh, you should not directly jump to experts and uh, beforehand you should learn the basics of uh, selenium again like after learning this uh, you can write a script to like open a page i think uh, you should learn this first like look what are locators different locators and how you can work on the experts and after that like you can write a basic script of uh, opening uh, google and entering some words over there and click on search and in that also like uh, what are the different kind of drop downs are there how you are going to handle them different weights like what is the different uh, difference between thread dot sleep and uh, implicit weight okay so these like uh, there is no such uh, thing as perfect weight so based on certain conditions you have to decide whether you want to go for an implicit weight or an explicit weight and uh, that is only going to happen when uh, like you can you know what are different weights that are available to you and uh, which in like uh, which scenario you are going to use which weight right so i hope uh, this much is clear to you and uh, again action class like uh, if you have to scroll something or uh, like why is it important and just go through it and uh, understand like what are the different uh, methods available in action class how you are going to call it so see see uh, the like uh, what do you call it 
the basic skeleton of action class uh, you are uh, like you should be in a position to uh, declare uh, a like method in action class and uh, how you are going to call the methods so just uh, just be in a position to understand uh, if you see a code so what is it doing and how it is doing okay again guys i'm repeating again that uh, this is bare minimum if you can learn more than that that's really great like in collection framework uh, there is like map also so if you can cover this well and good otherwise this is base, uh, bare minimum the same goes here that uh, like there are uh, javascript uh, execution executors also so Sometimes I feel that uh, like uh, you should learn JavaScript also. But again, like uh, if you go on learning JavaScript, then you have to put this on hold. So that is not needed. Just uh, do all this, and uh, there are certain pop-ups, JavaScript, uh, JavaScript pop-up. So if you can see a code, right? How we are going to handle the JavaScript uh, uh, pop-ups? So again, like uh, you will be in a position to understand that, and that is. what our aim is right in like uh, minimum time uh, maximum results after this uh, i think uh, you will be in a position to design a framework and uh, before designing a framework you should uh, like uh, first make the folder structure and uh, how different the see okay so if if you open a google page right and uh, like enter something and search so you can write it in a single script also like on a single page you say like sir this is like very easy to write it in a single page that's what we have done here but again like you can make a whole framework on that okay so how what is a framework framework is something like a certain Uh, steps and uh, there are certain rules of uh, writing a code so in a single script you can write, write like any x path and call any method and uh, your end goal is like to uh, get it search and verify that uh, whatever you have entered is uh, getting in the search button and the correct result but when you work in a framework so that there are certain rules which are defined uh, by the developer of the framework so like here as that uh, come into place and whosoever has uh, designed the framework so like there are certain things that you cannot uh, make a public class and uh, right so there are certain rules which you have to follow that's why like everyone should be on the same page while designing the framework so that is what i meant by connection that uh, how each and every folder is uh, like interacting between them so you have to like understand the your framework if it has been already written otherwise like uh, if you are making the framework from scratch so just keep uh, an eye that uh, whatever like uh, from wherever you are learning so uh, if you are making a folder or a class just like keep in mind that why are we making it and how we are going to call it right and for this thing like uh, if you have like uh, made a method in a class method and class so this your oops concept will come into picture here that the calling and everything again after this you are not going to write your framework to run on a single machine right uh, you are going to run in on let's say 10 different machines at the same time and for that like we can either we can use uh, the docker again guys i have not written docker here and docker or kubernetes here just because like first i like we want to run it on a single machine this this is little advanced and like if you want to learn you can but uh, like on a single like this is a first uh, like iteration so in that i'll not suggest you to learn this just like just make a framework out of this like you are opening google entering something search results are coming and just verify so you can make a framework and like i'll try to make a framework on the same and will explain you like what are the different folder structures uh, that 
are there and uh, how like firstly we will do it for a single machine and after that uh, we will focus on the parallel execution part okay and the consolidate uh, i mean that uh, if i if i say that okay you have your pom.xml so what each and every step uh, like is doing you should be in a position to tell that okay sir like uh, this is uh, doing this and uh, my like maven mvn clean install is doing this what this right what this is doing if uh, if we open the base dot test dot java so why is it used and like how it is getting called inside our um, let's say util class or oh, right so why we make the util class package so these are like very basic basic question at this moment you must be like wondering like uh, how we are going to do it but but once uh, uh, like you go through it it will be like very easy so you will be in a position to know what each every package and uh, like every folder method class is everyone has their own role right just like us so so what i was thinking is that uh, like we can take two approach so the first approach will be uh, we cover everything uh, like from from here like we cover everything from here and this is like second and after that we reach framework or so first one is like step wise in order so 1 2 3 or the second one is this is what i am thinking of doing or like just comment down below like what you feel which uh, way should we proceed so what i was thinking is that first we make a framework okay this one that we open google.com enter something and uh, go down to search result and verify so first we do the third part after that whatever components are there right so if web driver is there if our like utils class is there right so whatever this is doing this pom.xml so i keep on explaining uh, with the uh, with the flow so you got my point like firstly we will execute our framework and after that whatever the things are needed to build the framework we cover each and everything so that uh, like uh, you have your interest right now because like i was also facing the same issue that once i start from here like basic introduction java data types so like back in my mind in my subconscious mind i thought that okay i know the like jdk jre jvm i know the data types why bother like recalling them again i know the uh, what kind of loops are there so okay and uh, although i don't know uh, like initially i don't know the oops concept also but uh, i know the like basic definition what polymorphism is for what uh, like encapsulation is for and uh, nowadays like there are very um, what i mean to say is that like certain videos who explain that okay like you have a capsule and you put all your method classes and object in the same and make it as a capsule that is called encapsulation no guys you don't have to explain in this way uh like it is good for your understanding right what encapsulation is but that's now how you explain it to an interviewer right so like this is a incorrect approach so just uh, comment down below to let me know that what approach should we follow and um, however the responses uh, will follow the same approach but i'm like more lean toward uh, this like first make a framework and whatever the components uh, which were encountering let's say A screenshot one, right? How are going to um, take a screenshot? So I'll write down the code and uh, I'll show you how it is working. And in a like different video, I, exp I can explain it to you. What are the like how it is working internally, right? So this is what I thought, uh, what I I'm thinking. But uh, if you feel something different, just uh, let me know. So that's it, guys. I think uh, this will be beneficial and uh, like again. repeating that this is basic like bare minimum and uh, we will be encountering certain advanced topic also that we will cover in that so i hope uh, 
it will be a good session coming forward so that's it guys in case of any doubt or you feel any topic is missing which is like necessary just let me know and i'll try to make a video on the same okay happy learning guys